There was a song with Portable that you teased last year mm-hmm. that went viral that you didn't drop. Well, it, it, what is wrong with you? First and foremost, it's not my fault. It's we want fault. like I went to meet the producer. We're like, yo, we need to work on the song. So when, okay, Portable. I went to meet with Portable. In his, I, I, I think I went to Ogun State. So when I got there, now he was the one that called me. Oh, start calling. Mm. Bro, we I think we spent like four to five hours on the road going mm. like the road is so bad. Mm. Jesus Christ, the street. But still, we got there now by five. In, I think we left the house by nine a.m. Got to Portable's place by five or to five or something. So when when we got there, I was trying to um, test him on Instagram. Like, yo, I'm here. Dude was not responding. Mm. <laughs> then I saw, um, I think the PA or the wife, I don't know, came up. It was like, if I want to meet with possible, I need to pay 3.5 million. And I told my team, I better move the glass. Are you serious? Yeah, so that's how we came back home. Then by, I think, 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., possible called me on the phone. Now. Was, but do you know if he was the one that told the um, no, wife? No, he wasn't. He was literally sleeping. Okay, like, and then the person just wanted yeah, to make money yeah, off yeah. the... You know, and come on, everybody wants to make money off But that's the... crazy, though. So, that's actually weird. It's crazy. Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Deck. Hi Bestie, you're welcome to another episode of My Deck. Who's, who am I? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm Claire. I like to spell it with a K and you are on Pop Central TV. Um, today I'm hanging with somebody absolutely talented. Now, he literally makes his own languages, guys. Like, he dropped this song called Love Dimension and then the first line is not a real language. And I asked him like, what language is that? It's not a real language, he made it up. And then it stuck because it's not leaving my head. Do you know, as I was dressing up today, I was just like, clah, 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 nah, 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 nah. I'm with it, I love it. I'm hanging with the amazing Moonlight Africa. Thank you, thank you. First and foremost, yeah. What? Don't say it's not a real language. Is it? Whose it language? The meaning. Well, it was the meaning. No, oh, wait, yeah. wait, say the thing again. Say it, say it. Koko loko, komani. Koko loko, momani, otokbo kose. It has a meaning. What does it mean? I have to give it a meaning. Yeah, well, so it means mean... a language. If you can feel it, so it's a language. It means if I give you my love, I'm giving you everything and all. See, I told you he'd be making his he's a president of his own world because he made up the language, gave it meaning. And it's now not like giving all. I'm giving you my all. Okay, so if you were like toasting me, will you text me that and I'll get it? Yeah, yeah of course. I can use it. Ha, I would think you won't use me for no, like baby. Kokolo komo mani or tokpo kose. Maybe Juju. I don't do. I was so good. Welcome to my deck. It's so lovely having you. So basically, I'm going to ask you some hypothetical questions that you just have to be 100 with me because you know I'm your guy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, 100% honesty. Are we good? Oh, okay. Okay, fantastic. So you've been in the industry for like a long, long time. Is it a long time? No? For a couple of years, Jack. Yeah, for some couple. Yeah. Um, so who would you say gave you a first chance in music? Um, first chance in music. Like a producer that just said, you know what? You can sing. And you're like... Yeah, oh. shout out to Kulenshi. <laughs> 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 my guy. <laughs> Turns out he's in the studio. Yeah, he, he's here though. I was like, oh my God. Oh. Poof, 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 pop. It's That's crazy. crazy. There's, this, there's this guy called, um, he is a, is a Baba, and a music artist as well. I don't know, the guy was so, like, it was like, yo, Moonlight, you need to come walk with me. There's like, a Baba as well? Yeah, there's a Baba. I think it's still Baba, I don't know. Respect. Back in Abia State, Abba. So he was like, I have a producer. We all know Kolenshi in school then, because he's like the prince of the school. Ooh. Bro, he was so... It was a baddie, right? Uh, I love it. Like, popular in school, and a producer. So... From there, you're like, let's go work with Kolenshi. I was super happy because, bro, working with Kolenshi, ah, that's a big deal. A big deal. <laughs> and when then, uh, Kolenshi had me sing the first time. The guy was just, oh my God. And then that was when you were like, I can't yeah, sing. Yeah, I'm really okay, good. I think I'm good. Because he added them auto tunes and then, uh, you know, you know that was it. did his thing. And I was like, okay. I think I need to take this music. This is for real, music. right? <laughs> <laughs> so did you start off like dropping your own records or did you start off writing for other people? Because if you don't know, he's an amazing songwriter. He is yeah. writ- like this man. If you tell him, write for Sean Paul, he will write for Sean Paul. Big time. Because it's that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so did you start off like writing songs? Well, I, yeah, I started um, singing for myself. Like, okay. I think it's, it's, it started a long time ago. Uh, um... I think, uh, but for me, music made me start at 2020, you know. Okay. I think that's literally when the whole, this current Gen Z 
um, you know, music, celebrity started yeah. and all that stuff. So, but music, go content creators, yeah. everybody started 2020. Yeah, more like the world started yeah. itself when COVID came and all that. Yeah, thing, so. yeah. So, well, what has it been like since then, though? Like, it's in been the... amazing. It's been amazing for real. I won't even lie. Um, back to back, you know, or uh, um, more like up and down, ups and yeah. down, and stuff like that. But, but if you could change one thing about the industry from that time till right now, what would you change? Mm, I would say I would change the. Um, what's it called? Let's separate artists from content creators. Mm, explain. That's a very big. Po- See, right now, if you if you, not every artist are content creators. Mm. Not every artist are content creators. Some artists just want to make music, and let the um, marketers or probably the, the the distro or whatever to do their job. The marketing team to market it. Yeah. All they want to do is just make music. Mm. But now, as a music artist, you must... You must have a content yes, side. Yes, you yeah. must have to have that ability to create content every time. And you see them missing it. It's not. It's, that's not what they're about. That's not yeah. their style. They that's just don't know how, how to. to. But they, they, they have been forced into doing it. You see Liber these days telling them that, telling an artist, you must have to uh, create content. Mm. You must have to follow what others are doing. And yeah, and do you them. think labels pick? Do you think labels pick like the artists that they sign, or so because of like the amount of engagement or how popular they are online? Well, I think um, lately, uh, it's, I'm not just the only person saying this. I know a lot of um, people that are saying this complain about this. We don't like labor don't support true craft anymore. Mm. All they want to support are numbers, mm. um, 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 like viral songs. Yeah, viral songs and stuff. And you mm-hmm. see them missing the point. Uh, you see, um, right now we don't have core uh, artistry anymore. Mm, it's like what will go viral? Exactly. But I mean, I feel like the times have changed. Like you said, there was the full-on reset from like 20, 2021. And I just feel like I've seen some videos of business owners complaining as well, saying that if you can't create content as a business owner now, can you really have a business that would fly? Even if you have a business before that was flying, Mm -hmm. right now you have to come in front of the brand. Because I feel like people have just become, I feel like there's this fourth wall that was broken in in like the internet space that people Mm -hmm. just want to pry a lot closer you know before before we see our celebrities let's go to the met gala before you even see what is in the met gala we never saw it until very recently because we want to know like vlog to the end like you know tell me spend the day with me while i you know get my hair done and some people are even doing videos in a shower and no shade i I like it sometimes very common Mm -hmm. but it's a thing where people have now become more interested like they just want to peek through that veil and it's it's like with artistry they don't want to yeah i want to listen to your songs Mm -hmm. your songs are amazing but they don't want to know that anymore they want to know what you had for breakfast as well (laughs) it's it's crazy because if you even think about it that way the value of a celebrity is depreciating Mm. day by day really you see you think so right yes now there's a lot of c finish okay because they just know you too much like and then I feel like from this whole thing, like that's why cancel culture can happen because they can actually now cancel you because you know when they say this thing, don't know your idols mm-hmm. too much because when you know them, you now see that they are real people and then exactly. there's nothing wrong with, you know, seeing celebrities as human beings but then that sort of like blurs the celebrity factor where it's you're like, right now. oh my like, God. It, you, you, before, there's, there's, there's this core value, there's this something that when a celebrity is around, it's just, chill all over your body but now i don't see this one finished yeah like, no he's always on every challenge on tiktok <laughs> but i feel like i feel like that's how What's this? wow is that how you see yes now if this one uh well uh, okay take for example I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. like literally every you see them doing that you see them doing it, it, it. Wrong with that. Go, go, go. yeah see people just <laughs> see people just want to build their fan fan base right now all they care about is fan base fan base internet fan, fan base fan base and that value of uh, um of being a celebrity like i said is gradually depreciating. do you know i feel like what happened here was that there was looking a shift from the importance factor like 
I feel like people, the audience sort of clocked that mm. they are the most important part of this conversation. Right. Right. So now it's like I can do Shakara if I want. So now everybody's fighting and tussling for the audience's attention because right. the attention span is now so short. I'm like, mm. I will literally hear them talking about a song that was a hit two years ago. And I'm, like, oh, I'm tired of hearing it. When we had songs that have lasted the test of time that's still playing the clubs till now so years from now how are we going to have records that will stand the test of time There's when no, we're already bored when, like right in now morning right now right now um the, the only the only time a record gets to spend on um the limelight right now is just two weeks two weeks say you're lucky a month you're lying fact two weeks how how long but like love dimension went like you know for a minute everything like last year was more like the the grace, the the the, more, the grace period. Yeah, was, everything is now harder. I like, see twenty twenty four. It's crazy. Okay, think. Let's let's take for example. How many artists really blew this year? Hmm. When I mean blue, blue, like, like, like oh my god, there's a newbie in town that's you know, taking see, over. When when Ashake came out, everybody knew that there was an artist called Ashake. Yeah. When Odumodu Black came out. Everybody knew, knew that there's an artist called Odumu the Black. Mm. There's so many artists like that. Mm, let me think about it. Now that you say that, uh, this year. When Fireboy came out, bro. Yay. Come on now. When Jubboy came out. When Rema came out. Like, there's just, just this moment. When I even came out, it's just like this pause. Look at that. Exactly. You know, but now. When Riga came out, same mm. thing. I'm actually trying to think. But consciously check it out. This, this, year. this, this year, nothing. Sure. Let's see, this year, a song, what was happening right now? The artists are not blowing. Rather, the songs are the one that. Yeah, because I was about to say, like, there were a lot of songs that were like, by new people, like, but okay, Chi Boys. Even that blown, blown. Okay, aside those boys, they yeah. actually did, um, like, okay, Chi and yeah, with David. Of David and all that stuff. But, do you know, a lot of people don't even know them like that. Don't know mm, their by their names and their faces, you just see them as okay, Chi Boys. Exactly. Oh, that's hectic, so they, though. They, they, uh, it's crazy. I think, I just feel. I just feel the industry. We need to look for a, um, a way to structure the whole thing. Don't you, don't you think there was a structure before now? Or do you think that the structure has diminished because of virality? Yes, there, there, there used to be a structure, but now if, because of anybody can just come out from anywhere. But I mean, isn't that a good thing though? It's a good thing that anybody can just wake up and just yeah. be famous. But then he waters it down because it, like it, it, too it, much. It's you a know? good thing, but at the same time, look at the, the whole neg- negative side now. Yeah, it's true. There are pros and cons. So. Yeah. Um, that's quite hectic. I wouldn't lie to you. So if it's a thing where you could go back in time. Sorry. Give me one quick second. <laughs> so if it's a thing where you could like um, pick between staying a songwriter only or dropping your own songs mm. while you wouldn't actively do the other, which one would you pick then? Because as a songwriter, you don't get to really worry about, you know, well, um, making music for myself is more like joy to me because I know I can do it very well. Yeah. So songwriting is still cool, but for myself, yeah, you have you know, to, you know, bring your own space because songwriting you will sort of consider the person you're writing exactly. for a lot more than what exactly. you are into. Exactly. So. Yeah. So I get that. I struggle with that. I wouldn't even lie to you. But um, if you could make one thing right that is now legal illegal and one thing that is illegal legal what laws would you change hmm. they bam beans i don't talk calm. <laughs> Let me talk calm. Me. um i don't smoke oh, okay but i think they should legalize that stuff mm. boo, 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 more yeah, life for president I, yeah <laughs> i never said I, that i don't smoke i never, I never <laughs> said that i don't smoke but i think they yeah. should legalize it yeah, but, do, do you know why do you know what i'm saying it there's a long, a lot of young boys that are being jailed because they're just holding um, like a tiny, tiny. Not even that, holding crusher. Really? And now, um, there's no hope for them. Nobody to actually. I, you, you might even be surprised that the person that actually arrested them, the people that actually uh, arrested them. Okay, for me. Exactly. Hey, that's because crazy. Because of crushers. they should just. And I think there's a lot of benefits. Like yeah, yeah. Economy-wise, actually, yeah, economy like wise, so because. Actually, uh, they should legalize that stuff. No, no, no. And what's that one again? What one thing that is um, legal now that they should make illegal? Short skate. I'm kidding. Because <laughs> I'm wearing one. I go to jail. 
Bodies. <laughs> uh, you want to burn beans? I said bodies. Bodies. Uh, I think. I think. <laughs> um, this uh, BBL. Over there, <laughs> they should just look for a way to. Um, Where they burn BBL? Jesus. See, it's now becoming something else. Do you know if you go to this house? Yeah. There's no real bomb bomb there anymore. Come on, I go there. My booty is real. Uh, I didn't see you when I went there. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, you like look here, you see BBL. Look here, BBL. Yeah. And now they will now wear the, the cloth or probably the, 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 the they will dress in a way that. Jesus. It's going to be like. All of them, they are all looking like soldier ants. <gasps> all of them from A to Z. No, no, but like there's some that's really good though. Eh? Have you seen. See, the yeah, ones the ones that you don't know that are BBL, eh? That's that ah, she has a nice bomb that is BBL. Those mm. are the ones that are fantastic. Uh, see, see, touch touch the bomb bomb first. Uh, then you understand <laughs> that that thing is stronger than stone. Yeah, have you touched it before? <laughs> Moonlight. Somewhere I've touched it before. My road manager. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Let's go to the break. Mm. Big Sam. <laughs> when we go back. Okay, you know what me. I can do, my road manager. Do do yes, now so, uh, managerial duties. Yes. Go forth and touch it. It's fine out for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's we're gonna fine. go on a quick break. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back with some never ever ever. And we're back. Okay, with the never ever ever questions. So he has to be honest. You know how we do it, right? So if you have, you have. If you have not, you have not. Should we have my, we should have my waving it like this or like. Any, any, you want to do? You could, you know, toss I, it in the hair, I, pick it up. You, you and then, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever prayed for someone's relationship to scatter, so I can shoot my shot. You have a bit. Hey, we too. Hey, yeah, this girl in school then. Jesus. <laughs> just praying that these guys just. Are you too fancy, <laughs> guy? This is a pure mango here, like it was. I was like, yo, just get for us, Jerry. So oh my god, what? No. <laughs> my pair had work, my, my pair. Did it work? Yes, now my pair had worked on. But when they broke up, did you shoot your shot? Get it wrong, come on, when you score. Hey, you break out of that. How can a mango head be breaking your heart? Let that mango. Get yeah, quick, ask me. Really? That's so crazy. Mm. Now nah, I have that. <laughs> Never have I ever. <laughs> farted in front of a significant other. What? Hmm? Never ever ever farted in front of a significant other like your babe, your wife. Are you married now? You have? Ooh. You're one of them ones. Love that. I mean, I feel like everybody has. If you mm. really, if that's your significant other, you know. Yeah, but it's, it wasn't significant on her wife. It was uh, it's like, okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> but... <laughs> Okay, this is a story. It's actually very interesting though. Tell me. So, I, I wanted to enter Keken after. Mm. So, I stopped the Keken after. I, I saw it was empty. Mm. Fact, there was nobody. It was just the driver. So, immediately I entered like this. I just fat off. Mm. This dude just packed again to carry. Somebody else, woman. yeah. Yes, the woman was just looking like, at me. Like, yes, oh my God. Just face front like this. Like, yeah. Like, Boom. Woman yeah. never ask me anything like I found you messed. <laughs> As the, the trick is to frown. So they'll just be like, ah, me no bite me. Ah. Okay. I'm with that. <laughs> I'm actually with that. Okay, never have I ever pretended to be cool with my friend's partner after I told them to break up with the person. I am I'm sorry. Mm, I think. You have not, right? Yeah. yeah, if you've told them to break up, you're just like, yeah, I don't really mess with her like that, I don't like yeah. her like that. I mean that's cool. Me, I have oh. I say leave that. Ah, leave him oh. But if you don't leave him, that's fine. I will judge you. Yeah. But leave him. Okay. Leave him. All right. Never have I ever pretended not to like Amala or Semo for cloud. Mm, pretend, pretend. I don't pretend. I like Amala. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like okay, Amala. you've never been on Twitter. And you're like, oh, ew. Nah, I really love that. So, what's your favorite food? Rice. Rice. Rice and what? Um, chilon. The, yeah. one, the one I make myself though. Really? Yeah. Interesting. So, so yeah, and, like and a badass. And tuo shikanfa. You know how to make tuo shikanfa? Yeah, I love that. Wait, tuo shikanfa? Yeah, tuo shikanfa. Ah, uh, right, really? That's crazy, though. So you, you're like a, you chef up. I literally eat that stuff like twice a week. 
I've never had it before. Make for yeah, me I now. ate it like two days back. I make for me. What's it made of? That's rice. Oh, that's it. That's it. Finished rice, boy yeah, rice. You, you Raw rice, pounded. Then pounded. Um, Side you want to eat, um, use it with beans and stew or something. Are you like, lying to me right now? Uh, bean soup with, with stew. Okay, so like rice swallow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Innovative. Yeah. I'm with it. Okay. Thanks. Never have I ever learned a TikTok dance. Never. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I have. Which one? Well, I, 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 I think I tried doing it, but it didn't work out. <laughs> I just, Which I, one, please? I, I think I've forgotten it. Yeah, I've forgotten I it. So I was doing Love Dimension. I was trying to find a way to fix it. Oh, yeah, create level. content, right? Uh, oh, and you don't really like creating content, yeah, right? Yeah, and I don't know how to dance. Ah, um, well, you guys, you guys active <laughs> because my guy is just silent. I'm it's only good. Studio, you know? <laughs> but no, it's, it's beyond all that. Stuff. I mean, like, you could even still just, you know, tap into it, like recording your sessions and sort of creating like a community of people that sort of are yeah, close I, to I, you. I, I just I just feel TikTok doesn't like me. Like, yeah, me too. I it's think more so like though. I know that I'm, I'm not the type of TikToker. Yeah, so it's like the the, the views can be you know. Mm. So what's like, the point? Yeah. Of the in this world when it's, it's not for us and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, they can tell that you're an intruder among Please, us. Let them just love <laughs> me for once. <laughs> <laughs> you said please let him just love me for okay <clears throat> never have I ever missed my bus stop because I was too shy to shout oh ah mm. oh you didn't shout out I love it so should I is it this one? no oh, yeah you have yeah, not. not yeah okay active I love that never have I ever gone to more than one date in a day more than one date in a day. yeah like I did go see this babe for money I can't sit down for night ah I have back in school days. I was, I was, I was, I was a player, you know. Active. Do you know I was a a, a comedian back in, a, in my school? You're like stand-up comedian. Yeah, for real. I was an MC then, so I, I was just I was cracking all these girls up and nesting. I would yap, girl, yap them girls, yap them, so ah. them on stage. And you were laughing. playing on top of it. Yes, now then later you come meet me up. What school like, did you go to? Abia Kuli. Oh, okay, okay. Shout Hi. out to Colin, she wants more. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'll just crack the girls, you know, next thing they'll come back to the backstage and be like, oh, why did you insult me like that? Yeah, I don't like it. Give me your number. Hey, yeah. God. Do you know why, girl? Yes. Girl, he, he struck you in public. No, That's okay. To, I mean, you see, to be fair, like funny guys, but... If they struck me, I'll struck you back. I was so funny and like, I had the money then to back it up. Ah, sorry. You. Standing on your cash. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, I've been... Um, there's this place in VR that they do like live comedy and I was in the crowd and then the, was it Bucci or so? I was like, it just suck. Uh, this girl, I was like, oh no, leave me. I hate that. I hate that shit. I can't remember what he said, man, but I think that's the day that I was like something about a logo or something. You live in a logo or something. Real. It's like, no, I don't. Bye. Anyways, <laughs> never have I ever um, ghosted someone for something petty. Yeah. What's the, what's the pettiest reason? Um, okay. I think the person wanted to come to my house. Okay. And I kept on telling him that I'm traveling. 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 i we don't before you we like going out you know you just want to go out but now i don't know you're yeah, just not in the mood yeah i'm with that of, and once that guy comes to my house next thing you start planning yeah, go, go yeah yeah so, and there's no food at least about it my yeah i see for you you don't call me here sir hi i'm easy now <laughs> that's why i know you're my guy <laughs> because you should even so, me coming here i'm easy now but, but god did. Never have I ever looked through my partner's phone. I have. Oh my god, did you find what you were looking for? Oh, I cried on my Hey! Yeah. DJ, please play. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> And funny enough, funny enough, it, it, there's nothing there. I think I was just the one reading meaning to me. <laughs> but you still, man, they can't dish, yeah, they can't do what they did. She, she not explained everything to me. Like, I just, just like, this is how I, this is like, 
But was it uh, true no, though? It's not like it's true. It's fine. Really? Yeah, okay. I think I was just overreacting. I get that. Still ended up in one begging me time. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's so <laughs> <Nice> crazy. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so let us talk music, right? Mm-hmm. You said your uncle introduced you to music. How? How? How did that happen? Um, he introduced me to music, but he had a church then. Okay. You know, so he then I'll I'll be playing drums. Mm-hmm. Like I I was the I was a drummer boy then for him. He, oh, okay. he had only I think five members. Him, his friend, his girlfriend, me, and my grand uh, my grand aunt. That's all. I want that's your family business. I want one village woman like that. Really? Yeah. Wait, do you speak Igbo? Mm, no, but I hear Igbo. And you grew up in you school in Abia State? Yeah. I hear I hear them. Shout out to Kalenshi once more. <laughs> Please <laughs> continue. <laughs> so wait, wait. Um, your uncle introduced you to music, and then you met Kolenchi, and then you no, were like, Kolenchi is like uh, later on, though. Like, mm, okay, okay. The, my uncle introducing me to music was like way, 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 way when I was like nine, ten years old or something. Mm, okay. Yeah. I think Kolenchi was like. I just thought about something. <clears throat> there was a song with Portable that you teased last year mm-hmm. that went viral that you didn't drop. Well, it, it, what is wrong with you? Um, first and foremost, it's not my fault. It's we want, fault. like I went to meet the producer. Like, yo, we need to work on the song. So when okay, Portable, I went to meet with Portable. In his, I, I, I think I went to Ogun State. So when I got there, now he was the one that called me. Oh, start call me, mm. bro. We, I think we spent like uh, four to five hours on the road. Going, mm. Like the road is so bad. Mm. Jesus Christ. The streets. But still, we got there now by five. In, I think we left the house by nine. Nine a.m. Got to Portable's place by five or to five or something. So when when we got there, now, I was trying to um, test him on Instagram. Like, yo, I'm here. Dude was not responding. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then I saw, um, I think the PA or the wife, I don't know, came out. She was like, if I want to meet with possible, I need to pay 3.5 million. I was like, ah. Then I told my team, I better move the grass. Are you serious? Yeah, so that's how we came back home. Then by 12 a.m., I think 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., possible called me on the phone. I have a big day now. <sighs> what the hell? Baba. <laughs> was, but do you know if he was the one that told the um, no, wife? No, he wasn't. He was literally sleeping. Stephen. Okay, like, and then the person just wanted yeah, to make money yeah. off the... You know, it's, and, come on, everybody wants to make money off But that's the, crazy, though. So that's actually weird. It's crazy. Then he, he, he was like, crazy. I was like, ah, come on, I don't leave your your, 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 your state. I don't leave your state. I did leave us now. He was like, ah, why now? Then I explained what happened. He was like, for what? Who, who? I was like, I don't know. Okay, no vex. I'll, I'll come to Lagos tomorrow. By 9 a.m. I thought he was playing. Bro, 8.30, the portable called me. Like, I'm around. Yeah, around here. Me, I was even sleeping. <laughs> and I was not looking for the producer to just call. So then I called my producer at Diaso. Shout out to Diaso. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I, from there, we went to Diaso's place. I called him, like, come to this address. Then he came with his people and all that. Then we did the song. When we finished the song that day, Portable posted everything everywhere. <laughs> so mm-hmm. the whole thing was just straining it. <laughs> okay. So later, and I wanted to release it. Producer said that I should give him one million. I was like, ah. I'm not dropping the song again if it's like that. <laughs> That's how we didn't drop this. Are you serious? <laughs> For what? But, but, I'm a bit confused. You've spent a lot more on music, and I know that for yeah, free. But the, the, you know, see, there are some situations yeah, when uh, the, the producer is like, my guy, my guy. Mm. Well, at least if you want to charge me now, not one end. I'm just starting. Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, for the beat and yeah, all that. Like, and boy, still taking his own percentage and all that. Stuff. Oh, okay, so you. Like I'm not buying off the whole beat. And oh, are you serious? So it's just one million and then he's taking yeah, royalties yeah, and tag. And, and I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not doing that. Crazy. I think Portable yeah. got angry. was like, how far, how far, the song that like that. See you. He said, no worry, no worry. We'll record them again. So. Oh, that's sad. Mm-hmm. It's all good. Is it so good? It's I'm good. guessing so. I'm guessing so. But what should we expect from Moon Life at the rest of 2024, though? Oh my God, a lot. Um, we're still like, like I said, um, the industry is crazy right now, and we're all watching. 
mm. and at the same time mm, you're just being careful so that when well, I'm money they go down mm-hmm. because exactly. right now to push one song it's a lot so yeah. we'll be expecting I, I'm expecting that particular song <laughs> oh <laughs> that particular <laughs> song alright thank you so much for pulling up on me if you want my besties to follow you online where should they find you uh, Moonlight Africa Africa with a Q that's A-F-R-O-I-Q-A Moonlight Africa Moonlight Africa and obviously, you know where to catch me, K L A I R E O N Y E K A. And obviously, my family, this is Pop Central, because this is Pop Central. <laughs> I'm out. Bye.